This episode of Speakers of Eidolon is made possible by our generous patrons like Omage Cat Comet, Saray Cypher, Hans Grenade, Anna Ginterace, Bob CC, Faris Gentoru, Cletus Oreo, Luke Leonetrell, Sapa Chakwatol, Courtney, Zerka Barakil, Casey Schaefer, Lily Black, Chaitan, Chesha Saltiri, Erisu Yamakawa, Sasira Full of Lirifu, Daimos, Nina Grimm's Daughter, Asuta Starbreeze, Quick Levin, Sayori Snowfall, Yuana Nitsa, Miscellaneous Cargo, Duke Jarlsberg, Stella Bell, Yarnthoda Aurora, Boogie Bear, Remy Asalia, Ceres, Icy Lee, Lyria Rain, CNG Lipscomb, Dolomit Papoto, Kaisa Regina, Pamela Isley, Umbral Wind, Face on Masher, Naive Arino, Celeste Raskris, and Elenriel Maximus. Support the show and become a patron today at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. This is Speakers of Life. Good evening, Aorsians. Welcome to Speakers of Fightland, episode 165. I'm Lukeel Bravestone, and I'm joined today by Rollo Des. Georgie <laughs> Wiston. And Malavanadar. Hello. Um, Hi. This is episode 166, uh, uh, like I just told you. Uh, it's October 19th. We are halfway through this sacred month of spooks and scares um and today we are going to talk about all saints wake of course we will give our review of that uh but most importantly we're going to talk about and discuss a live letter 55 lv um so uh that'll be uh coming up uh, we'll also read some mog mail we have a lot of mog mail to read through speakersxavi.com slash mog mail and stay tuned for the post show because we'll be reading questions from the syndicate. We'll talk a little bit about minimum eye level as well there. Um, might have a poll. Might have to do a poll, actually, now that I think about oh. it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, that's it. Uh, what have we done in 14 this week? Anyone want to start? Don't talk about All well, Saints Wake because we're going to segue wasn't. into... <laughs> no, no, none of that. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Um... We did more PvP. I got a battle high for the first time. I've never gotten a battle high before. Really? And it, yeah, yeah, it's my first time ever. And I, I got battle fever even. I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. Having fun playing Gunbreaker in Seal Rock. We had that really clutch win too. That was, that mm. was fun. Nice. Yeah. It was a good time, but then we lost the match right after and I stopped liking PvP again. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm only PvP liking is... it when I'm winning. Yeah, it's more fun when you're winning and <laughs> combine that with doing it with other people that you actually know rather than strangers that yeah. you can't rely on to do to behave how you want them to. Mm -hmm. um, Other than that, not much. Yeah, we did. We got some raid progress in this week. Mm -hmm. We've hit Enrage mm. for E2S, so we're almost... <laughs> we're almost... Almost as good as some of the slowest raid groups of the tier, so that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, I've been still leveling my Weaver, but not much else. Milo? Um, well, the the two options have gone. Um, yes, I've, I've pretty much just done what uh, Rollo and Gyogi have done. Um, I've only really played on stream this week, so if you watch our streams, you'll know what I've done. Cool. Um, sadly. But I, what if they haven't watched our streams? I, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's their fault. They've missed out then. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, I have not done anything. So let's go into <laughs> recent events. <sighs> All Saints Wake. All Saints mm -hmm. Wake. Right. We thought. We thought we were on to something that maybe they had um, done something new uh, this year. <laughs> uh, 
because they didn't add like a, a description or anything for the website. Mm. Um, they ninja patched that in. Patched. They yes. put that in uh, just last minute. So either they forgot or they forgot. No, they watched speakers. They, they watched forgot. speakers. It's possible that they might not have even just had it ready. Like they hadn't gone to Koji and said, oh, no. I was three lines of text. Text. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, you got to make sure it's it's got to be reviewed a couple times. Yeah. It's, it might be lower on the list of mm -hmm. things. Because, mm -hmm. like, I don't think they could have forgotten. I feel like they would have realized. I don't think you post that, make that go live and think, oh. There's no text on this website. Yeah. I think they may have just wanted to release it without the text yeah. and then they added it yeah. in later. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's not because, as you said, it doesn't take long to write. But they could have asked anyone in the office to write three or four lines yeah. before they post, put, push the website live. Yeah. Um, the event was the it same. It was a seasonal event. Yeah. It's the same event that you're used to. Slightly different text. There, mm. I would say it is almost a repeat of yeah. the seasonal event. Not necessarily the All Saints Wake seasonal events, though I feel like you two have said that, mm. you and Mela. Um, I think it's almost a repeat of the Hatching Tide seasonal event where we had to surprise people with the giant Yeah, yeah, Ricky. yeah it yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. Just this time in Central Shroud instead of North Shroud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with an Ariman rather than a giant deck. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah, and it's the it's the haunted manor with the yeah. that you unlock afterwards with the, with the mini games thing and the people that you can turn into at that bit. Yeah, and whatever. Yeah, that's always fun getting turned to like some and now, now that they've added it so that you can actually like use G pose while you're transformed, it's much easier than to play around with than it used to be. Mm -hmm. And there's also more choice. For NPCs you can turn into than last year, so that's also fun. Yeah, make sure yeah. to leave an alt in there, guys, so you can always transform mm. into an NPC. You don't get kicked out. Somehow they keep the instance up the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything else to add? Did you like the rewards? Yeah, I, mean, I haven't got. It's an them, okay yeah. mount. It's that's all right. Not one you're going to use that often, but the visual effect of its ability is nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I like ability. it more. I think I like it more than the regular Ari Man. You do have it. You. I was surprised to say that you do have an actually different sitting pose to the regular Ari Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To account for the hat. Mm -hmm. Are you guys like invested at all in this like Halloween or the, the Continental Halloween Circus? Event? Yeah, you invested I in used that to be for a bit because it was. It seemed like it was building up to something like ah, this time, the night of devilry shall return. But it's just the same every year, and they're never yeah. gonna have it. I like no, the characters they're... to some degree. Mm -hmm. yeah. they've they've turned into Team Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The Gourd Lady was cool, I guess, because she has a funny name. Lady... She's a Gourd. The Gourd Lady is always cool, but I still don't really understand like what she's what her goal is. No. No. I don't know. It's it's you know it was good the first time they had the haunted house, and now oh, it's yeah. kind of become standard. But I like I like Halloween in general. I like the decorations and stuff. It's just nothing new. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hey, still appreciate. Yeah, right. <laughs> I still appreciate <laughs> that they still have the haunted house for people that have not had the chance to experience it. Like all the people that started with Shadowbringers, this will be the first time they've seen it, and it'll still be exciting for them. That's true. That was literally what I was about to say, so don't even <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> uh, right, so that's it. All Saints yawn. Um, wow, okay, he yeah. said that. All Saints me. sleep. Um, wow. The mount is fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. the mount is fine. The uh, a housing item is fine. The, the nice. Wagon? There aren't a lot yeah. of uh, All Saints Wake outdoor furnishings. So that's mm -hmm. true. Mm. Not as good as the little cat prints, though. They put in the wall. Mm. It's peak. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'd never buy them, but I'm sure other people would. In fact, I know other people that have bought the cat prints. Yeah. They could have bought me a slushy instead. Would have wow. been a better use. I would have been happier with that. Yeah. 
Uh, next story, uh, private housing. Um, it's been announced for Spriggan and Twintania. Uh, not, it has, yeah, well, it's been announced. Uh, upon the release of patch 5.1, the purchase of private estates will be made possible on certain worlds. Uh, so while, we, while the rest of the servers are getting new housing wards for FC only, the existing wards on Spriggan and Twintania will open up for private purchase. Uh, um, that's cool. Yes. Uh, though the wards that are added in addition will not be available for uh, private purchase. Yes. Yeah. It also now states once and for all that, uh, well, it doesn't do that here, but I just want to add that because we mentioned that on a podcast episode once, and I think chat corrected us, but it turns out they were wrong. Uh, you cannot relocate mm. with a private estate. It is now mm -hmm. stated on the website that you cannot, yeah, yes. to the new wards. So if uh -huh. you were planning to do that, you can't. The new wards are exclusively FC. Mm -hmm. So that's that sorted out. I think to a certain extent that makes it kind of more exclusive because you know you know you're in a neighborhood where none of the people are like solo people. You know it's a an award exclusively made out of FCs. Yeah, that's true. Like it used to be back in the right for day. <laughs> I mean, you say that as if there were hundreds of FCs that had the money to buy houses back then. Yeah, it was mostly empty wards, but the few houses yes. that existed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the next uh, near, there's a near, near website. All right. That's Let's... true. Mm -hmm. In addition to the 5.1 website, there's a special near one that advertises near automata as well. But uh, it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Definitely not near Gestalt, though. They don't talk anything about no Gestalt. No mention of Gestalt. No. What or even replicate. is that? That's OG near. Yeah. I only know Automata because it's the only near game. Right? All right. Well, I'm going to strangle you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an enigmatic android, mysterious machine life forms, and deadly secrets. Newfound ruins amidst the... Uh, how do we pronounce this? Dugar? Durgar Mountains? have drawn the attention of curious dwarves and the warrior of darkness alike. The discovery of a pale-garbed woman calling herself uh. TP, however, will force these intrepid explorers to confront the reality and dangers of technology beyond their wildest imaginings. So there are some pictures. The balls. Won't open. There we go. The bolas. They whitewashed TP. Oh, come on. We're down. not <laughs> discussing this here. Uh, then uh, they did it wrong. There it is, and there's that, and there's that. Copy there are balls. A boss. Yeah. So balls are confirmed. It also gives I'm us still... what? I'm still trying to figure out how th I can resolve this being in Norvrent. Uh, uh, well, it's been. It's like you know a secret thing behind that door. Mm -hmm. Who built it? Oh, you'll find out. It's a mystery. <laughs> mm. Okay. Plus, right. there's clearly two characters still to reveal in this storyline, Yogi. Yeah. Maybe they'll have the answers. Okay. For our audio listeners, Two uh, P is the the character that we're talking about now. Uh, an android in white awakened within the excavation tunnels near Komra. Her knowledge of the ruins and her machine life forms could be an invaluable asset. And there mm. are two more slots that I'm assuming will unlock at some point. Yeah. Mm. Um, so that's that. And then there's some of the guest creators. So there's Yoko Taro and Yosuke Saito. Uh, we're not mm -hmm. going to read their thing, but they're there. And then <laughs> there's an ad for... Well, not ad. It's like a, a background thing for Nier Automata. Yeah. Yeah. Like and then it just links to the official site. Yeah. I like that it says Nier's latest installment, as, li as if there's more than two. <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, you know. There might be a new one in the future, though. Mm. But then it wouldn't be the latest installment. No, then they'll have to go back and change the website. Yeah. But still. That's pretty... I guess if you're one of the few people who doesn't know what it is. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure... It's like the Monster Hunter thing. Where, you know, you scroll down, you saw the website for Monster Hunter. Like, yeah. a link for it or something like that. I don't remember that, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Uh, Notice how it's... Oh, no, never mind. Because it's in there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it's just That's it's, all it is. it's got its own website. Did yeah. did uh, twelve have that or the uh, Return to Evil East? Did that have a website? Mm, I don't, don't believe so. 
think so. Mm. I mean, it's not a relevant game to really be advertised. It wasn't really a relevant game. I guess it kind of was, because they had the remake. The remake but, was out, but no, I don't think... But yeah. Final Fantasy is more attached to the world of Final... Final Fantasy Twelve is more attached to the world of Final Fantasy Fourteen. Yeah, this rather is... Than this is more... Lead... Yeah, go on. Yeah, and yeah, this yeah is an entirely a... different series. Yeah, this is more to, like, sell Fourteen to, like, near players, mm. I guess. Mm. Or vice, well, versa. or vice versa. I mean, <laughs> if you want to play this content, you're gonna to have to get a good 200 hours. Worth yeah, but they're of gonna do. They're to gonna do it. the same thing that they did with what was it? Where they like told you to Monster do Hunter. Monster Hunter. Yeah. Where they were like, yeah, mm. just buy a jump potion, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least this is around forever, mm. and the Monster Hunter one forever is also around. around forever. So yeah, they're not gonna miss out if they actually just spend <clears> their time in the game. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, and in the, I know I've been jokingly calling her Two P because mm-hmm. that's what she was called in Soul Calibur Six, mm-hmm. but then oh. they just outright said it's that's just Two P from that was in Soul Calibur Six, which yeah, I mean, which is like a weird thing, just because that was just a new character made for that. Well, an alternate I mean, skin. Yosuke Saito in his little description says that Two P can't possibly stand for second player this time, so I guess we'll find out what it means. Huh. Two Panasonic. It's what it is. It's Panasonic. Hmm. What? Because <laughs> I told you about that. There was like an interview where they asked him, what does 2P stands for? It stands for Two Panasonic. Uh, he's okay, a strange take, man. I don't remember that either, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> it's it's true. It's canon. Panasonic televisions are canon to 14 now. <sighs> okay. I mean, we already have with vending machines are canon to 14 now. Yeah. Right. Um... <laughs> okay. Are we live letter? Let's main story. We're moving on. Okay. <laughs> um... Are we gonna watch the trailer? Yes, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Do we have time for this? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Um... Of course. This will do. be very annoying for audio listeners, but we'll try our best to describe it. As we watch it, I thought it was playing. Didn't Peggy <laughs> sixteen? <laughs> oh, Peggy man, the only rating that matters. Oh way! Wow. wow. One of the giant robots from the Automata. Yeah, so they got the Colossus in, which was unexpected. Mm-hmm. Was it? And just... Yeah, because it's iconic. There's so many in there. Okay, so music that... straight from near too. Yeah, this whole yeah. the whole trailer is near themed. Also, much, uh, yeah. in the that little uh, b- thing, two uh, P was fighting. That's well, it, it looks like nine uh, S. Because yes, if you does. look if you yeah. look at his sword. It's the Is same it sword. Point, I feel like it becomes more apparent later in the video. I think so. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, well you can you can see the boy shorts. Yeah. Yeah. On the far shore of the source, there stands a Then there's the Grand Cosmos. The yeah. And Graha is joining us. There he is. And he's not wearing his hood anymore. Chose to make their home there soon after. Giant. Horsey and Hey, this is a reference Ghost. to Gestalt. The, I don't know if it necessarily is, but it is. Yeah, the dancing people from uh, those people from near Gestalt. That's like a one-for-one one scene from. Um, okay. The, it's, we haven't gotten to it in the original game, but it is the same scene. Okay. Front. Well, it could have. Yeah, it could have been many references but yeah i my first thought was haunted mansion from disney yeah <laughs> yeah um but yeah it could also not be but yeah. it's cute yeah fairy people yeah. pixies another unique pixie we only saw one before him two unique one. pixies this yeah. is like the only shot we get from ishgard restoration so I'm assuming mm, this is yes, like trailer, an opening yeah. cutscene or whatever for for the yes. thing. Um, we we should. I will. We'll talk about it when we get to it. Little boy. Hey, little boy. Not sure why he's wearing blue now. No. 
Also, you might be the doorway the from to Disneyland. Everything we told you. Of the swords, the ah, this looks so good. The, the extreme kind. fight for Hades. Yeah. So I'm showing a couple of new mechanics. Yes, we see tethers and medias and more This is I hate that. Why do you Hades. hate the falling circles with it? <laughs> Save your triple cast for it. They didn't exactly <laughs> fall that quickly. Hey, China! Yeah, so who's that chai's... man on the... who's... Um, yes, the Chai's, but who's that Rue on the right? Bori Holder. Is there bo yeah, it's Bori Holder. <laughs> Shut up. Don't say that. <laughs> um... I like how that one woman at the front can't get over how like rich she used to be. She went in a golden <laughs> dress. <laughs> like, no, I will not change my dress. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's, a, <laughs> she, she's, she's a whale. Yeah. Is that Rowena? Actually, I, I think that's the Rowan. I think that's the first Rowena. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that she's called like Rowan. <laughs> Should have been like Bowena. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bowena. Isn't it Bowena with an M? Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. but still not good enough. Yeah. Morwen. Morwen. Not good enough. Um. So yeah, it's going to be the political stabilization. Yeah, 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 for yes. sure. Are you sure you're willing to take that chance? Is that two piece voice? No, oh, that's... it's like Dulia, isn't that's, it? That, yeah, is that, that's Dulia. Is that no, that's not. That's not. Wait, that... I was gonna say, is that is that how she sounds like? I don't remember her sounding like that. That definitely won't be two P. I don't think. That'd be no, great. Definitely... But I don't know if it's. <laughs> I don't know if it's. Oh, it's the no. no. Oh. It could be the Numo, yeah. Oh. That's like the first time we hear a uh, Numo yeah. speak. Numo speak, yeah. We hear them chant when they're doing the horrible things that That's true. all the Fae yeah. do to yeah. the to the Umorans. Sounds like it's got a cold. And oh, then there's this robot. music again. Best music ever. The there's tank. the tank. That should be that better become a mount. There's a mount. There's a mount. Yeah. Yes. Thornton shows up here, but that's, that's explained as a blue mage, blue mage thing. Yeah. What? Yeah. Gaius and then water. The, the raid fights look really good. Yeah, there I are guess. different platforms yeah. for the different alliances, I guess. Yeah, they look very, very good. You think the flying thing will become a mount? No. Maybe. The pod, maybe. I can see not the pod. The, not the flight suit, that's too much. Why? Oh. This bit. With Nidhogg coming out, when he does his little move, Estinian. Okay. okay, yeah, there's a line. he says, um, like, I'm not sure what I think of your gift, or whatever. Yeah. It then pans to Graha opening his eyes. Yeah. For the blood of Alad. Now, I don't know whether... I think it could be one of those tricksy things where some it's... Gaius is saying so they're using Gaius saying something and use juxtaposing it with something different on screen. I mean, he could yeah. be he could be talking about could he not be talking about Sinos and his like he could be talking shit? about the echo. Yeah. He could be yeah, talking about blood talking of about... Alag. Yeah, I would think of, I would or think Sinos. I think Considering... he's talking about our yeah. echo. Oh, oh, our echo. So you think we're gonna yeah. talk to? to him in this path. We're going to be talking to some people on the source because we've seen Kryl. That's also where we ended. So we, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness me. That'll... Mm. Mm. One year baby. And, mm. Good to look at it in that. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm yes. glad that one was there, yeah. Baby. Yeah, and Kryl never... Because Kryl never appeared during the main scenario of Shadowbringers, so we know that it's going to be something new. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. It could be, it could, it could be a few things, but interesting. Um, he's obviously happy that he's just killed. killed. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You can see the nine. Oh yeah, with his golden sword. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, like, and you, you basically just there. see yeah. that's him. Yeah, he's yeah. got that eyes eye patch. You know? And then you'd be like, oh no, why are they fighting? Be nice. Physics on the dress. Good luck. Okay, that's the trailer. That's not the end. That's, more, that's not the oh, end. Oh yeah, there's the end. Um, whatever. Kill. 29th of October.
2019. Hang on. That's 10 days from now. Yeah! Alexander. Yeah. Priest Chaser and Brute Justice. I guess that was a reveal as well. Nice. Um, Cool trailer. Good trailer. Yes, I was Pepsi trailer. Man than Ultimate, so that's important. Why is that? Wait, does it start I thought... with... Yeah, it does start with Pepsi yeah, Man, but that wasn't shown Pepsi. until the later in the live letter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't show us much about the story. There's not much to specula speculate about beyond what they've already told us. No, and the story, it seems awkwardly split up between what I would consider fairly boring in terms of the Yule Moore stabilization project, which is just, you know, we've done it enough. And then the the stuff to do with the soul, with the mm. Numo. Um, so hopefully there's enough quests and time for, mm. for both of that. I guess the biggest mystery is the stuff relating to the Garlean plot line and also why we're speaking to Kryl in general. That's also true. Gotcha. I would assume Kryl is tied to the soul storyline, though. Yeah, the Garlemal stuff will probably be resolved in cutscenes only at this point. Mm -hmm. Ah, that'd be kind of disappointing. If, like, while we're doing stuff on the... F it just, like, meanwhile, and Garlemal and the, and the source, and that's where you I see mean, Kryl. Be it'll probably the Garland old stuff will probably tie back into the main scenario around when yeah. we're setting up for whatever the next expansion is. Mm. Yeah. Right yeah, now, could... oh. that's true. They could do RP instances. We yeah. could play as a steady and all oh, that. That's true. Um, yeah, we've so... not had a role play for a, a little bit, except for the main scenario. There was a couple in there. And there's only cool. one in the main scenario. Oh, yeah, thank during you. all of Shadowbringers. Yeah, yeah. thank you. The other ones are tied to the the role quests. Mm -hmm. I could see either as Gaius or Astinian then, mm -hmm. when they enter the throne room, picking up there as a role play instance. That could be cool. Yeah, I if feel like that's. Know. Yes, Ron. I feel like, I feel like that's the, that's going to be the case, considering when we left off in five point mm -hmm. or with you know, um, Gaius getting attacked by Xenos. I would yeah. I would like to think he just picks up right there. Yeah, just... I could either. Yeah, we could either play as Gaius attacking Xenos or Astinian jumping in to help Gaius. Mm -hmm. Or how about Xenos defending against those two? Ah. Those two. But, you know, you know, why not? <laughs> it could be a unique way of storytelling. Who knows? I want to use this. Who are those two? Uh, oh, Gaius both and Astinian. Yeah. Oh. I, know, I mean, we, won't, we, we Gaius, definitely won't, but Gaius, it'd be fun. I was very confused for a second. Where, where was Astinian by the end of... In that he country? was I in think... Garlemald, wasn't he? He, he was, was in okay, so, Gaius. So it wasn't just yeah. Gaius in there, all right. No, they no, met he, he he tried to stop Gaius from running, rushing forward. Right, um, okay. And then the Emperor screamed out and he ran into the throne room. Oh, mm -hmm. my king. And it was like, boom. Um, yeah, that was the hard cut we got. At the yeah. end of the storyline. But yeah. Um, well, that's. I like the trailer though, showing off. I, I had think some, it was a some nice little scenes. And... The live letter in general covered more of the stuff I was less interested in than the stuff I was more interested in. But Well, you just say uh, that because yeah. you don't play the jobs they covered. <laughs> no, not even yeah. the. Although the job changes showing Ninja for like 94% of the job changes section, fine. I mean, yeah, that it was. Boring for me, but fine. Um, well, when we get to the live, we get th start getting through the live letter. We'll talk about the things that we wish they yeah. spent more time on, and things that we wish they spent less time on. Uh, uh, I don't know if there's much more to say about the trailer. We might uh, have to move on to the live letter. Lukiel? I don't know if he's here still. I think we might have to hold it. Oh no! On you know what, fellas? Um... 9S and his boy shorts. They're there. They're probably there. Are you, are you they've saying modeled like... two B's dress in the game, so we're definitely getting that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. But the camera won't pan down enough, so all you perverts out there, <laughs> keep it to yourselves. That's what G poses is for, man. I'm sure people will find a way. <laughs> Where there's a will. I feel mm. like you you underestimate the power of 
that's the people true. that want what they want. I I feel like we're not going to get like the gear people want to the last part of the raid, though. Honestly, I agree. We like, won't get I, the truly I, iconic gear until the final the final raid. Like that's I could true. see, I could see like for the first part, either getting like. <laughs> Papa Nears, like for tanks oh, or no. something, <laughs> like no, the strat. I think, in the, I, I, I think that will be for the second one. The second one, yeah. Okay. I, mean, I think that will be tied it, to the second one. It's got to be said, Nier as a series doesn't really have enough armor to cover all the jobs for three different sets. There's so they're going to have to do a little bit of licensing on that. There's a decent amount in Automata, I would say, because you have like. The resistance-looking gear, like from Anemone. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You have, you have the battle outfits for like two B mm-hmm. and nine. Well, I think just two B gets one and nine S. Um, you have the commander's outfit. That's another one. Um, oh yeah, that'll be the and, healing gear, I guess. And then you have um, this operators stuff. Yeah. And you can so, probably put in some alts, like the different colored ones here and there. You sort of have Adam and Eve's gear. It's not really like what topless. Oh, it's complicated. I mean, there's trousers. topless things. There are outfits in the game that are essentially topless right now, Mela, so I don't know if it's well, that yeah, different. True. It'll just be like a necklace or something. Yeah, it will be. Mm-hmm. That's the chest. Similar bit. to the South Seas outfit. But, you know, I'm sure they'll be good gear. And um, everyone will be running around in 2B gear as soon as that's out anyway, so it doesn't even matter what else they make. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. People that are, that are wearing like, pretty close replicas of 9S's and 2B's gears, right? Already, we already yeah. have boy shorts. Alex helped out a lot with that. Mm-hmm. I would be. It would be nice if they weren't like gender locked, though. You could like, like not just one piece of gear where it's like, oh, this is the nine S. Like if your man turned a nine S, if you're yeah. yeah lady type, you turn into. Do um, you they said that it was either. Do you think we will get an, an Emil mask? No, oh, I would say yeah. Maybe it's like a bonus reward as the at the end, like in the yeah. West. Oh, mysterious gift. And it's uh, the, the I don't think it'll be tied to a class. No, yeah. if it's a yeah, if it comes in, it'll be like the question mark reward, and then it'll be like, bang, mm-hmm. Emil's head, and it'll be and a level one head. glamour piece. The rolling head could also be a minion. It could be the minion from one. That would oh. be cool. I'd like an Emil minion. We'll probably yeah. get a pod minion. Yeah, we probably will. That's almost. Entirely oh, maybe even with. a vice minion. I feel as if vice is more likely. I guess so because well, I don't think they'd want to make a mm. glamour for scholar and summoner just because that's very role restricted. Yeah, that is. But I also, I would, pref- I would prefer it if they did that. Yeah, that would be cool. Also, but you don't get weapons from raids, so like it'd be very. Yeah, you don't get weapons unique. from raids. It would it'd be very unique. Like, if it's already, if we're talking about the optional Emil head as like. A headpiece to wear at the end of the raid. I could see them as see them doing it as like an extra yeah. bonus quest at the end, similar to how the Evil East raid had a bonus quest at the end, even though that wasn't for gear. It was yeah. for, it was just for crystals and clusters. Or like yeah. when you do um, what's the second raid? Void, Void Arc. And yeah. You get, yeah. Um, you get the little scarf. Just the scarf. Yeah. Oh yeah, the red little scarf. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that um, could could happen. It, I suppose you could make it cost the token. So once you've got the, all the upgrades you need, it still keeps you doing the raid. That's true. I mean, they start. They don't release. Uh, but then again, they've started doing just orchestrian rolls drops. But for mm. um, the Mark series, for the Shadows of Mark series, they didn't. They made the songs retroactively available for the tokens after the raid series was done to keep people doing Void Arc and mm. Leaping City. So I could, I could see them doing that if they'd revert back to that system rather than having them as random drops. Mm. Yeah. They 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 teased some updates about G posts. Uh, they never went into that. They never showed us what that was. They just no. mentioned it on a slide. Um, uh, they did. S- oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So then they talked about um, um, Hades Extreme, which yeah. they said um, they said that it was gonna be about the same level of difficulty as Seiryu. No, Shinryu. Shinryu. Oh, Shinryu. 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 Sorry, Shinryu yeah. Extreme. Yeah, uh, which was very quite highly tuned. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, the Stormblood Extreme. And arguably. 
the hardest extreme in Stormblood. So yeah, yeah. that's but exciting. That I is also hope nice. it's not indicative of what, how extremes that like this is the hardest extreme we're going to get in Shadowbringers. Mm. Mm, true. There, there is, uh, however, um, uh, uh, good news. Well, it's good news that it's hard. But for some, might, some people might be like, "Wow, is it going to be shit to farm?" No, because you're getting two tokens that will drop mm -hmm. per clear. So yeah. bigger chance of obtaining uh, the weapon. I'm assuming that it's going to drop. Yeah, only five runs, yes. I guess. Yeah, uh, if and you only have a pre. Fifty for the mount. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I still... hope they retroactively up. Uh, innocence and twin uh titania <laughs> i mean mm. i would like that if they did that for all of them but they tend not to update old things like that i mean we still only get four gear drops from crystal tower no, right yeah yeah with, with still the chance of getting belt oh, yeah i yeah, leave that for the people who still just play the base game you know they're yeah. still gearing up <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so uh, that's cool looking forward to that um next uh they talked about the job changes the job adjustments starting with ninja rollo mm -hmm. you're probably you gonna to have to assist this? here um so the ninja is getting some big changes mm -hmm. that i'm sort of okay with um the biggest one is changing the mudras to gcd actions because before they were ogcds and that was always a huge problem oh OGC sorry gcds with two stacks i should say so the biggest problem was always that, like, if you had a really bad connection, or not even, like, even around 100 MS or ping or something, double weaving for your mudras, which was a pretty common thing, or, you know, and you also had to triple weave for um, trick attack, which was, mm -hmm. like, it felt bad. It always felt bad doing that. And it was very ping dependent to do double weaves if you could. Um, is so triple weaving I, even possible with animation locks? Well, I say triple weave, but it's more just like you do three OGCDs and you're clipping big time. Ah, okay, yeah. Because you just have yeah. to. You just <laughs> yeah. have to. Okay. Um, so I'll just I want to see what it says here. It says almost all actions have had their potency adjusted. Fair enough. Uh, the, the play feel itself, however, doesn't change. I can sort of see that where you're still just like doing your main combo and then you switch to doing mudras for a little bit, but now you aren't like feeling bad because you're missing your GCD. Um, it doesn't feel clunky. Yes. Mm. The exact part was always clunky, and I very much agree. Um, the dot isn't part of the combo anymore, which I never really, uh, you know, if you have an it's opinion. It's very on that show. weird for that to be the case, to be honest, because they went so much into removing dots. Mm -hmm. And making them like part of rotations, that to make it a separate action by itself, I didn't realize that I didn't fully comprehend this during the, when we were watching the live letter. I think it's a bit strange. Yeah, because it reminds me of Heavensward Ninja, where like you just had mutilate off the combo, which I mean, I, I guess they kind of like, but it's weird that it's just going back to that now, where your dot it's is like, a separate combo. It's like going back to having like fracture on a warrior. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess they're doing this to, like, make up for where, like, you can't do your main combo as much anymore. Mudras mm -hmm. now. And the Mudras have a shorter GCD time. It's not, like, you know, 2.5 seconds. It's, like, is it one second or so? 1.5? Something like it that? It was not 0.5 for some of it. Wasn't it was it? very short. So, zero, okay, yeah, 0 0.5. Sorry. Um, just because Tatsu has been reverted back as armor ability. Sure. Uh, the specification of Tenchi Jin are now interchangeable actions and can activate ninjutsu at will. Uh, trick attack duration has been increased, but the effects have been nerfed. TA can also be applied in any direction instead of strictly from the back. It's meant to have its usability changed to be easier to use, but with the effect nerfed to compensate. The TA change, it's, it's good, uh, I would say. You can... TA from any direction because mm -hmm. and some like imagine trying to trick attack and like uh E2S because yeah. with how much you're moving, which I think that's fine for just making the usability. I understand, you know, increasing or decreasing its effect. Sure, I get it. It's uh, gonna be way less punishing to miss a trick attack. Yes, because yeah. It's not like dropping your combo. Yeah. And it's like everyone in your party dropping their combo outs. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it, 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 you're losing out a lot of damage if you miss it. Um, 
Hellfrog medium, Bavacacra, uh, Bunshin's gained consumption is, ch- is adjusted from 80 down to 50. And according to this change, our lost skills will see a review in its Ninki accumulation. They didn't really show mm-hmm. how much Ninki accumulation, but I'm guessing it's just so you can get them out of it frequently. Having, yeah. having it at 50 is much nicer because it allows you to yeah. like store them up to a certain extent and then use them during a burst a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't know why it was 80 as a cap. 80 was a very weird number. Very high. Yeah. And also, could, like, it, <laughs> have you seen the gauge for it? Yeah, the scroll. Yeah, I hate it because it's like, <laughs> it, it, like the, when the scroll ends, that's about 50. And that little tiny bit is 80, like the actual uh, scroll itself, not the rolled out part. And I always hated yeah. that. It just, that's <laughs> why I always use a simple gauge for it. Last um, I'm not going to say this is going to get me to get going to get me to play Ninja again. Honestly, I was about to ask you that. I, that I mean, it's not enticing enough. Yeah, my biggest problem with Ninja has always been Tenchi Jin. I've, I've hated it. I hate because you still have to stand still to use it. By the way, I think mm-hmm. they made that a bit more lenient, but I, I just hate it. I don't like it. Yeah, I hate that's to use it at the right part. time. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's an it's an integral part of it, but it, coming from Heaven Sword and then being told. Okay, stand still now. <laughs> it's very like, what? <laughs> I'm going to try it out. Willing... Yeah, okay. You're, so you'll be willing to try it and see if you appreciate yeah. the new changes overall, but you just don't suspect that you're going to be changing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, I would say overall changes for usability, but I still have my own personal problems with it. Keep mm-hmm. me from it. Um, and there's Samurai. I just got a Samurai because. Do any of mm-hmm. you guys play Samurai, really? Not at 80, certainly. I'm not playing. No, it takes no. do Samurai to a roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I guess if most people know about the Monk Samurai thing, where the last, was it 5.05, Monks just kind of came out on top when it came to DPS yeah. and usability. Um, it had more DPS and utility. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, they're just adjusting it. Sorry, 5.08. That's, that's when it happened, those changes. Um, so people have saw, seen Samurai is weaker, which is not that much weaker, but you know you know how people are about numbers and meta and all that. Yeah, but the uh, difference like between a, 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 like a high DPS class and a low DPS class, when both played at their best, is... Like what? Okay, one k DPS at best. Mm-hmm. It's so small numbers, and the game's obviously designed that you can play with any combo you want. And most people aren't playing it at their best anyway. So yeah. the, I would say the biggest change, aside from stuff from like potency adjustments for Samurai, is they're changing how Shoha works. And mm-hmm. for those of you that don't know, Shoha was a skill you activated. It was like meditate from like Stormblood, where you stand still and you charge your Kenki. Um, yeah. Except you, when you charged it, it would you would do an attack, right? And yeah. usability was like, like what do you like you use it for phase transitions? I guess for when the boss comes back down. I mean that's cool because mm. it was like a big potency attack, but like at a skill just for phase transitions, especially like a new skill, it feels kind of lame. Yeah. So uh, they're changing it to make it part of the rotation, and you need like three stacks of meditation to use it. Um, and you get meditation, or yeah, it's just meditation through using your EI jutsus. So that's cool. And they said, uh, oh, yeah, it says right here, dev team estimates you're going to be using Shoha once every 40 seconds. So, yes, uh, that's good. That's good. Way more frequent than before. Um, the cooldown after using Super Gumegshi will be affected by skill speed. Super Gumegshi. That. <laughs> um, it's gonna be affected by skill speed, which is cool, I guess. Which skill, skill is that? Um, I don't fucking remember. Hold on, I think that was one of the. I think that was a single target dump kinky thing. Okay, I might be wrong, <laughs> but either way, the second midare. Okay, yeah, so that's cool. Um, the double midare. Yes, thank you. So that's cool. Um, that might be more reason to dump skill speed. Okay. Which one is that? The cone thing or what? That's the single target EI Jutsu that everyone oh, the, the big damage one. 
So I would um, say aside from potencies, the usability for stuff for Samurai in general that is, is getting better. It's these seem like good changes. Uh, I don't think about Summoner, so you guys have fun. Okay, well, I don't think any of us know that much about Summoner, but I can sort of translate this a bit from Scholar. Um, okay, so AG Assault 1 and 2 are now categorized as spells and will be affected by the GCD. Due to this change, action potencies will be increased. This is very strange. I Because I thought all pet skills were already on the GC, were already all changed to be on the GCD with Shadowbringers. Was it the case that Summoners couldn't still use AG Assault 1 and 2 off GCD? Because I feel as if that's mm -hmm. not true. I always um, thought it was OGC. It was an OGCD. That's what I did. It was OGC. It was OGCD back in Stormblood and beforehand. So, mm. I it's still very weird. I don't like how controlling your pet is now incorporated into your own rotation. It was much more convenient when you had control of your pet separately from yourself. Yeah, it's but, very strange, but don't I don't break your wrist wait. as much. I will, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I will wait and see. Uh, summoner's overall firepower will be increased, so yeah, number increases. Your opener will see yourself pressing up to six buttons less at the first minute and then four uh, buttons less for every minute after that. No so way. it's going to be less clipping overall because there was a lot of that in the summoner rotation, so hopefully it will feel less awkward. Um, overall action recasts will be, re re will be adjusted to make it align nicely. So that's a nice quality of life change. Mm -hmm. Ruina ruination effect from Tri Disaster deleted. What replaces the effect will be direct damage. I don't remember what ruination was. I think it. I think it was an effect from. I think Tri Disaster is a skill that placed both. That placed all the three, didn't that all three of your dots at once? Yeah, bio, yeah. miasma two, uh, and bio. well, bio three, miasma two, and. Ruination. The increased damage from ruin. Yeah, which was yeah from ruin, which was ruination. So ruination is going away, I guess. That's a shame. I kind of liked using it for the little summoner I played. <laughs> I like the bane trait. The bane trait adjustment is really nice, where it's a different effect of of resetting the cast of resetting the dot on everything you spread it to from fifteen percent to one hundred percent. That's a massive DPS increase on because yeah. you know, you're now guaranteed to always have complete banes, unlike before. Mm -hmm. I wish I saw yeah. a bane on Scholar. <laughs> you're not deserving, sorry. Mm. I guess you could kind of use bane like Iron Jaws because you could reset it between different mobs by switching. It's mm, then again, I think isn't bane on a thirty second recast now? I don't know if it necessarily can work exactly like Iron Jaws. It is on a 10 second cooldown. Okay, so it can be. Okay, so you can use it to just essentially just, yeah, like Iron Jaws. You can use it to re, uh, reset the cooldown for both Bio 3 and Miasma 2 without having to worry about. So it will be one GCD rather than two. Mm. So that's a very nice change. Uh, next up is Bard. I don't think any of you play Bard. I on the played it. Plays I Bard. Like <laughs> you go ahead. Bard won't be like what Bard was during 4.x, but songs will now have sort of support effects added, so that's a really nice change. It will bring it back to what it was like in Stormblood and earlier, where Being a support Bard's DPS. Actually, <laughs> yeah, Bard's actually had support overall. So the fact that I, that doesn't say what it is, I assume it will be crit up like it was before, mm -hmm. and it what. They said that it won't be as strong as Dancer, but because it's persistent, since you always have a song up during battle, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, the job overall will be buffed, including its support ability, so yeah, that's nice. While having Synergy, it will have its firepower weaker than Machinist as a result. That's fair, because it's going to have more support power, unlike Machinist, which I don't think has... I think Machinist either has none right now, or very minimal like, support. It doesn't have... Any aside from just the reduced damage thing, like the the samba yeah. dance kind of thing. That, uh, that's yeah, I don't it, remember yeah. what it's called for machinist. <laughs> yeah, it's tactician. Yeah, tactician. Yes. they turned your TP increasing skill into a group defense buff. Yeah. Uh, 
And then the sound effect for Apex Arrow when it's accumulated will change. I didn't know this was a problem, but apparently it was. So... Was this like the yay? Gunbreaker problem, where it's like the sound effects were really dinky and people Probably. didn't like it? So I guess I hope it's a more satisfying sound. I don't think they showed it. I don't think we heard it during this stream, but I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe bards out there will be satisfied when you get the chance to try it once the patch hits. Um, uh, let's go through the others. We have would, so it had the same sound as repertoire, so now it will have an idea. Well, they didn't say this, but hopefully it will have a different sound now. So you can oh. okay, tell sense. when two different uh, skills are in you, available. Mm -hmm. Okay, next is Machinist and Dancer. Potency is increased. Potency, potency increases will mean overall firepower. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, some skills will also see their recast time is short. So that's fair. They, these are, I think most of the remaining jobs have very minor changes. Yeah. Uh, monk. This is melee class. You go, roll it. Oh, I don't play Monk. But Monk's firepower will retain, so it's going to be just as strong as ever. Mantra, mantra is too strong. They throw a slight adjustment. So. That's kind of disappointing, but I sure. kind of understand that. Yeah, I mean... Why Monk it, has this healing buff is weird still. Uh, I mean, it's but it's like all how, Realm Reborn, so... It's like how Dragoon has, you know, Battle Litany. You, know, you gotta give some kind of... That's, yeah, but support. Battle Litany is like a damage boost. Yeah... But, you know, it gives Monk that extra flair. It gives a little bit of flair, you know? Monk has too much flair. Give some of that to Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Dragoon. Dragoon's the firepower increase. His ability will be improved. I think uh, they're mostly just talking about positionals. Because mm -hmm. somehow, the, <laughs> in Shadowbringers, Dragoon became the more positional melee DPS. Wow. Monk has just a way to nullify all their positionals now, so it doesn't. In terms of like positional usability, it doesn't matter as much. It was very much. It's very much the reversal of what the case was in. The... Yeah, I, Dragon... I feel like the. Oh, go ahead. Dragon was the melee class for people that didn't want to deal with positional as much. What a world with the the weird timeline. <laughs> Okay. Um, you have Red Mage at 80, so you can comment better on Yeah, Red Mage is something... I can talk about this. Red Mage's overall potency will increase, buff, be buffed at a considerable amount, which is nice. It's kind of... Red Mage is weird, because it's this... They have to balance the utility of being able to raise whenever you want with the fact that it can't be as strong as Black Mage. Otherwise, why would you ever bring Black Mage? Mm -hmm. Do you have something to say about that, Mela? Um, It's just worrying, really. Because um, there's a considerable amount, and you know, the DPS between a red mage and a black mage, you know, it, it's something, but it's not like so significant that red mage isn't viable to have an end game content where it's like it's not even a progress group; it's a farm group. So well, increasing it, and then also increasing other parts of red mage. At what point are you just never going to need a black mage? I mean, yeah, Mela, just just become a red mage main again. Well, I did, and it was so easy. It was an easy life. And I thought, no, I know. I've got to go back to my roots. But no, I might just have to finish leveling red mage and gear that instead. I think, I think the like, there's a lot of space in between like the maximum or like potential DPS for a black mage and a red mage, though. So I think there's a lot of room <laughs> to play with, and you'll still be fine. Mm, I guess a really good black mage is doing. Very good DPS. Amazing damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but uh, their traits. Points. Red Mage's traits will also be buffed. It's very vague, but okay. Yeah, I uh, don't know which traits. Probably like <laughs> their intelligence stat stuff, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I why? I, I don't know. I guess it's like a, a less intrusive way to increase damage by giving you more int. It's very forceful. Okay. I don't know. It's a guess. I thought... I feel like this was phrased differently when we were watching the live letter, but it says here that the Red Mage is very proc reliant, which it is, but I thought they were specifically talking about the opener before. And mm. Regardless, Accelerator specification will now change it so that it forces procs three times rather than just once as it does right now. Mm. Its cooldown will be adjusted 
which makes sense because if it was on the same time where it was now, you'd have almost perpetual acceleration up. Yeah. So, yeah. I can understand it. It makes it. What do you want? Oh. I assume you would then, like, the arrow and the the holy wouldn't take a stack. And then you would the flare, etc. Okay. Fire. Or the air, you know, whatever they're called. I can't remember what they're all called. They're all stupid names. It's the fire and the air. Yeah. So you would... It... Uh, yeah. Because three stacks is a bit awkward anyway. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, it's just to make things more consistent, I would say. Yeah. Uh, you know, I would rather it be more like um, a uh, charged ability. So it has up to three times you can use it. And then each well, one has nice. a, a, a longish cooldown mm. to do the overall. Because having it like triple cast makes you more forced to use them all up in one go. But there are, you know. I think they'd prefer that just... rather than make Red Mage even more mobile than it already is. Yeah, I guess. Um, so these are. It's sure. <laughs> Red Mage needed them, a... sure. It's a big, pretty big buff from what they've said, but we'll see how it is in practice. All right, you can Black guess Mage. about your fucking triple cast. Uh, Black Mage will see no changes, um, but it will now show how many stacks of triple cast you have left, which I guess is useful if you have a mathematical impairment or something. Like me. Well, I don't like have a Yogi. mathematical impairment. Impairment. I'm not Rollo. But wow. um, I can add... where was that from? Because <laughs> it's true. I do. Um, I uh, but I tend to forget how many triple casts yeah. I have left. That's um, uh, scholar. scholar. Improvements on usability. Don't know what this means. Usability. Hopefully, nothing scary. <laughs> well, it may. It's easier to be a scholar. So whatever it is you do now, that's difficult. That'll be easier, I guess. I don't do you know. Do what... it. Anything hard? Looks like you have a good time most of the time. I don't know if I'd say I have a good time. You never seem stressed. <laughs> I am. Don't you hear the noises <laughs> I make when we're raiding? Yeah. You're always stressed. So that's good for you. Um, um, I guess, Luke, Luke Hill, do you have anything to comment on the effect range for Asylum? Being adjusted, assuming leap to be bigger. Uh, I'm well, sure that's a good thing. Bubble it get is big. A good thing. It's definitely a good big. thing. Astrologian, come on. All right, yeah, baby. MP consumption of spells be adjusted. I don't know, hopefully less, <laughs> I would guess. Um, potencies are being adjusted as well. Regarding cards, minor arcana will be adjusted so that it reduces unnecessary steps. One such example would be how it directly apply Lord slash Lady of Grounds um, instead of making the card into a Lord Lady and then mm. use it. So this is when, that's like... Such a, nice that's a change. good one, yeah. Yeah, this is when like you've like you have all your seals for divination, then you use divination to give the buff. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. like there, you can't, you have to turn your cards into like after you've already got all your seals again or something. You might as well just turn them into lord and ladies, mm. but that's like, yeah, it's like an extra button you have to push, so it's just less, which is nice. Yeah. Um, and specifics of collective unconscious will be changed. We're executing the skill. We'll bring. Different effects depending on when you're diurnal, heal over time, defense barrier, or the barrier, uh, a barrier of 10% damage mitigation. And nocturnal, instantly granting 10% damage mitigation shield at last 20 seconds will be different depending on which I don't quite, I don't quite understand the difference. Um, just what diurnal will it? give you... Hmm? I think it's very weirdly phrased. Yeah. Because like diurnal, both, like diurnal but... looks on paper better. No, nocturnal, nocturnal is a shield. Diurnal is a damage decrease. Yeah, with the like heal a over defense time. barrier, right? Of uh, yes, de yeah. there's still ten percent damage mitigation. Uh, I'll see it in action. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. I'll understand it eventually. <laughs> I'd have to see the numbers myself. Yeah. Better, but in general, I think nocturnal has always been kind of better. So maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I mean, it just depends on who you have in the party, anyway. I mean, maybe they want to make Diurnal better, then. Yeah. So. I feel like you don't seem happy about them making Diurnal better. You don't like Diurnal. 
I, I don't. I don't like using Diurnal on Astralgen, really. <laughs> I, I like the, the well, shields. you can always be the Nocturnal guy, then. And I'll be mm -hmm. Diurnal, because I still need to catch up on Astrologian quest. You should. It's... Uh, I've warmed up to Astrologian recently. It yeah. still feels... I quite like yeah. it, from what I've played with the new changes. I don't know if I like the fact that you need to... It's almost still RNG with this, this um, seal things you get. Because you're not mm -hmm. really just going to discard random cards to get the right seals you need to get the higher buff. That would be rare. So, but it's mm. cool. I mean, you have the redraw, like the three stacks of redraw. That's that. true. Yeah, I, I know. I like. I've Jeez. always liked Astrologian lore wise. It, anyway, it, Astrolo it gets the feel. It's the yeah. right. Mm. Astrologian saw significantly increased usability with 5.08. So this mm. seems to be building on the changes they made then. Yeah. Mm. Um, I I wish there was like, I mean, there's a macro for this, but I wish like whenever you drew a card, you can just hit the same button to like give it to someone. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just having it, like instead of it going to a separate button, I understand why. So you can have the cooldown going. Yeah. But I wish they could figure it out so I don't have to map a different button to give a card to someone after drawing it. It's very mm -hmm. strange. It is uh, strange, so but I think it's maybe just because we're not used to it. Yeah. yeah, it's just it was better before. It like just, I mean that part People specifically were... was just. Better. I the, the convenience of it was better, but I don't think they the technology isn't there, Rollo, for uh, them to start the cool spaghetti code. Cool code as soon as the card is drawn, if it remains on the same button. Uh. Here's what you could do, Rollo: have a hot bar next to the party list, and then have a a button next to each player with a macro on it where it's use skill on. Party member one to eight. Yeah, there there and is a just... macro for it. Ah, uh, Mela, I see you two are a connoisseur of the subreddit. I didn't. I you no. I usually stole the mouse over ones. They're always good. Mm. But yeah, uh, you were essentially the other idea that I've seen on the uh, subreddit okay. many times. It's a, yeah, it's a good idea. It's if you good don't. Idea. It's not like it's if you came up with that independently. It's not. It's not that difficult to imagine that like. Many people yeah. would think of. So there you go, Rollo. All right. Well, tank time. Uh, we're tank getting buffs. buffs. Defense. Tanks are getting good buffs. This is the tanks are point. already good. So this is very interesting. Yeah, they're fun yeah. to play now, and they're getting buffed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent. We're getting um, uh, reprisal, which you guys should be using. I hope you guys are using reprisal. Uh, you definitely <laughs> should be. It, Especially it, now. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially now. Um, it's this becoming AOE be... now. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be another buff for trash mob pools. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, Pal to be honest, Paladin sorely needs. It has like four four cooldowns for trash trash mobs right now, <laughs> which doesn't feel like enough compared to what it used to have. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, I like that it's AOE now. So this is cool. When, so you spam reprisal in pulls now. You better do it in big yeah. pulls or it's regular yeah. reprisal. Lower their <laughs> damage, increase your defense. Easy I time. mean, if it keeps the same cooldown, yeah, you'll be using it once per pull. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we have Sentinel and Vengeance. A Sentinel is like the big cooldown for um, Paladin. The, Paladin the, and the Vengeance blue, is the same the for higher. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're just having the duration increased. Oh, wait, does that wait, tie it to the same premium. length as? Does that make it the same length as Dark Knights and Gunbreakers, or is this just an independent change from them? I'm not sure actually. Let's let's compare Sentinel right now. Hold on. Is ten seconds currently? All right, and then Dark Knights. So now it's uh, going to be God twenty five seconds of thirty percent. No, does Shadow Dark... is ten seconds. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's the thirty percent mitigator. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that's, that's really strange. good. That's a really okay, nice. Maybe All they right. think, but is Dark Knight in the position where it is probably the best? What's the best tank this this patch right now? I don't know. I've gotten so many mixed things on every single tank, and I haven't. Mm -hmm. I've just not looked into war at all. But I've just yeah. I've erased it from my mind. <laughs> but I feel like all of them are just in a really good yeah, place right now. Yeah. Like the Whichever one is the most meta. Oh, Warrior is fun to play. How dare you? Um, no, I agree. It's not as fun as it used to be. Yeah. Paladin like, now the... Paladin yeah, like... didn't used to be that much fun. It's this weird thing where, like, oh, Warrior is the most interesting, fun tank to play. 
but then like everyone else got brought up to a level and it's yeah. just like now we see like what was really going on with ours like yeah this is yeah. more interesting now <laughs> now if you uh, home warrior's fine though if you like it don't worry yeah as for warrior home gang's effect timer will also be extended which is a very nice change because their immunity was the shortest by far i believe mm. yes and it's weird because they increased the cooldown of it and because the advantage is always that like oh it's a cooldown so you can just use it more often mm. but so but this is good this is good so i mean make it a little bit better it... i don't know if that's that useful <laughs> i guess i mean it's have, like the second worst like immunity it is the tank. second worst one it's still not the worst one <laughs> it's not dark knight's the worst one <laughs> dark knight is the worst <laughs> um yeah i feel as if they regret making hallowed ground they do they do it's just so strong it is just it is, so strong yeah, but you can't change it now you can't no, you can't if they changed it, it, it would be an without making role. people very angry yeah mm -hmm. it is so, a great ability mm. Um, it's like what everyone else's does, but with none of the drawbacks. <laughs> no, exactly. Easy life. Yeah. Uh, so I guess let's move on to the next stuff. Go to yeah, all good and gathering. Also showed off yeah. crafting and gathering changes, which we've seen. Um, the pretty much all change. of it before. We've seen they showed it in game, so mm -hmm. rather than screenshots, which it looks fantastic. Yes. Yeah. You can get like a little shopping list up where it's in a slightly easy to read format and just get all the materials. Mm -hmm. um, very, very useful. Rather you than can... having to do the math yourself, because yeah. that was always very frustrating. Very mm -hmm. frustrating. And then you can like right click on them and go to recipe and craft them as normal. Yeah. Yes. I like the UI skin for it too. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very um... nice. It's like a translucent. It's transparent. Like it's very interesting. It still has the the glossy bound border around it, but. Yeah. <laughs> but. I mm. like this slow transition to a less ugly UI. Yeah, it's um, cool. They didn't show off much to with the gathering, though. They showed off that when you click on the thing, it will show you where it, it is, but they showed it in a zone that they didn't want to have the map on. So it didn't. Re they didn't really show anything to do with gathering, and they didn't show anything about quick gather or... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. had <laughs> anything that we wanted to know. <laughs> Still having no idea as to what quick gathering and how it works. Yeah, I'm assuming it's just going to make it the usability generally easier for oh, everyone, yeah. just to get into as well. Oh uh, yeah, there's gonna there's gonna be some massive skill pruning if we get uh, to go oh, by the amount of gray skills that we saw yeah. on HCP's crafter. Which yeah. I'm totally down for. I'm sorry, it's going to ruin all your macros. It's, it's going to destroy, destroy them. macros, but, but it's, yeah. it's going to really completely change the the yeah. landscape of crafting. Because like, I need... Fire Gut is going up to 100% by That's default. That's amazing. That is madness. Mm -hmm. Like, me, like, you know, like, the first time I got into crafting in the 14, I hated that as I leveled up, just, like, I get useless skills. Like, I see a skill, and, like, I'm like, this is fucking yeah. useless. And and you just keep getting that. And I'm like, I... And then I look at the rotations, I'm like, use... Uh, excuse me. Skills that are <laughs> roll actions? Excuse me, Roller. Are you not whistling while you work? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Use up three like, whistles to do this. Because, like, I saw the whistle while you work thing, and I'm like, that seems, like, kind of interesting, but... Oh, I'm going to tell this. you right now, every Heavensward specialist skill, or almost every specialist Heavensward skill, I have never used. <laughs> I just barely understand them, and they are just trash. And it's like... I understand the ones that, like, you use to get uh, CP back. Yeah, that one's about it. Yeah. The only when thing you, that matters is that it acquires Yeah, when stats. you get the stroke of genius at the start of the craft. Yeah, that one's fine. <laughs> but the stupid... And uh, the the affinity ones they used. It was it okay in theory, but what a... Like, only six what? crafting recipes even have affinity in this game. Well, they dropped them as... They dropped them after A Realm Reborn, essentially. Yeah. So they're obviously going to go. But, um... They already, yeah. just, they already removed them, didn't they? Did they? they already the elemental ones? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure yeah, they yeah, already they replaced did. them with like the Just the one that affects one. all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah this brand of whatever. Which I think um, that skill is also useless yeah, as of now. I, mean, just, I, think so. I mean, it is because you, if you, I mean, I guess if you want to craft them when they're re when you're re they're relevant because they do allow you to craft like good crafting gear at that level, yeah. which is like more powerful than other normal crafting gear. Mm. So, I guess. 
if you're using it to level your crafter as you go, it's useful then, but it's not really relevant outside of that because you can almost always out level those recipes now. Yeah. Um yeah, there was a, his his action bar was like ninety seven percent grey. But he did mm-hmm. say a lot of them have been remade with new, you know, probably new names and stuff. So that doesn't mean yes. they're all gone. We could it just means your macros form. are broken. All your macros yes. are broken. So <laughs> sorry. Uh, Ash, Ash and... 10, um, you're going to get a lot of new traffic on your macro videos. Good luck. <laughs> um, um, and also, desynthesis is now 100%, guaranteed. So you don't have to level it. Cool. You'll be able to do it. Assumedly, you'll be able to do it with every class as long as you have a high enough level for the mm. gear or whatever you're desynthesizing. Yeah. I assume there's going to be a lot more bathing suits on the market board because now you don't need a Pierce oh. specialist to. Yeah. Desynthesize them from fish. Price was... for a Realm Reborn uh, primal weapons and, or maybe all the primal weapons. Um, and down, the uh, hot bathing suits, Demi... they're all going down. Demi materia? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's, hey, fine with me. I've, I've always thought it was weird you can only spec into a couple decents because you couldn't raise your decents level on everything at a certain amount of points. So Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well you could be a jack of all trades and not be very good at anything. Right? Yeah. Which like <laughs> I don't like know why you'd want that. <laughs> but the thing is like you wouldn't even know because you'd just be like, yeah, I should level everything in decent, right? Yeah, and then, that's only they start going down. <laughs> I put so much effort into leveling day synthesis in the past and I'm so glad that I did not bother with Shadowbringers. So I'm yeah, I start very happy to hear these changes. The amount of effort and money you need to use to get some of the gaps is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're going by like 0. 0. Yeah, 0. It, but 0.1. Between expansions is the worst because you can't. The ways to get old gear is normally from hunting seals. Mm. Yeah. Or you have to craft them and craft them yourself or buy them off the market board. It's very inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. But mm. this is a really good change. You can get your own mm-hmm. demi materia easily now. Or it'll be cheaper. Win win yes. for everyone except the, you know, people that make money from monetarists. 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 Uh, let's monetarists let's to... don't do their own work, Mailer. No, that's true. Uh, then they had a break for 15 minutes. Yes. Which we won't talk about. They showed up five different events. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, and then they came back to talk about the Ishgard restoration. Hooray. Um... Which... They went into a in they they showed off some of the UI and the zone, the firmament that you will be rebuilding. Yeah. Which looks it's like a housing looks district. It looks quite a bit like it a looks housing like district. a housing district. Uh I'm with so excited very little... to see this map with green squares on the ground everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. So what if well. what if like you build it up, like you build the plot, and you're like, oh man, I can't wait for a little green square, and it just ends up being snow. Like, just snow yeah. on your plot automatically. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised by that, but I was more talking about the horrible green squares you see where a house is oh, to go. Yeah. Oh, right. right. What if you right. build your mansion, Rollo, when someone else comes and buys it in front of you? But, but I, I've already built it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're, built for the, you're, res- the... you're restoring the plot. Oh, yeah, oh. You're, you're restoring it for the bourgeoisie. You're the proletariat. Yeah. yeah. They better give me a fucking out. like chance to buy it early or something. <laughs> Um, they showed off the the uh, UI like the board, the Sky Builders board, mm-hmm. which yes. is very pretty. It's like a wooden panel with um, like Chloe's book and some yes, of the other things. Yes, it's a very like nice, mm-hmm. unique looking at UI. Yeah. yeah, it's looking like it's mostly just going to be like collectible turn-ins for the most part. For like with this board <laughs> where you turn yeah. in stuff, and then as the progress bar at the top gets filled, every like section I think is when like a crafter gatherer fate spawns mm-hmm. and it's less about you doing like you doing the same thing there's just crafting crafting fates right now yeah yeah just, it's crafting gathering fates. fates will come later crafting yeah. is for this is the point one is this point one one or point one five uh, point, one five. point one one okay oh, point one one. Okay. okay that's not as bad i was afraid that it was later in the patch so oh. these are server dependent too, so you know, yeah. Some yes. servers might finish so ahead of you. You'll see different progress on every server, but it seems to be lower. the The bar to progress seems low enough that 
ideally each server will already will be ready for the next season whenever yeah. a season ends. Yes. I would um, be surprised if any server is significantly behind. Is um, anyone annoyed that we didn't see what this new crafting fate was like in practice? Yeah, yeah a little bit. A oh, concerted, concerted, concerted work. Fate. Or concerted work, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. sorry, concerted work. They're not fates. You can no. fail them, though. You, you, you can fail them, yeah. So be so. focused, but what is it? Who knows? What if they brought Wait, back... What are we like... focusing on? Well, exactly. It, oh, we've got to hammer in the nail and the... The only thing I can think of is a clicker. Yeah, but that'll be maybe weird. It, maybe it works like cuffer cut. Yeah, hmm, we'll see. Or, or, or maybe they could turn the gold source for gathering. They could turn the gold source of thingies into the fate. Oh, that's no. the worst. I hate that's that the, fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, don't do that. Both don't of them are awful. to him, Square Enix. No, listen to me. Um, no. Isn't that why you put them in the gold source in the first place? Because no. you love them so much. Um. The uh, your hand in collects, which you also get a new currency from it. Oh yeah, there's a but before that, there's a new scratch game to be introduced. In oh yeah, there's too. also a new scratch game mm. that's there tied to be, this. There better be an eighth right here at some point. It's fine if it's not there. The, oh, the no, but it's a housing district roller. The scratch game is it's a lottery to win a house. Mm. You're not going to buy the, the houses. Problem. We'll all enter a lottery. That's. <laughs> oh, but that's as awful. of now, it isn't. <laughs> hey, I won. I uh, I didn't even want this. Um, you do the there's there? the scratch games coming in 5.2 though. So. Okay, that's ages away. They're that's telling us now. Miles away. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, new hairstyle. New hairstyle. Yeah. It's. Um, Which you get with this new currency that you seem to get from whatever this is. Yeah, it looks it's cool. It's a. I assume it won't be scripts. I assume hair. Emric pays us in proper currency. I feel like this hair is a reference to an older Final Fantasy game. It's I... a reference to Bart's. Yeah, is it well, it's an early, is... early one. It's from Final Fantasy One, I, I think. No, no, no. He... Oh, is it? It's the original yeah. Warrior of Light. Yeah, okay, sorry. yeah, yeah. Because he, yeah, yeah. He has. He looks but like it... the Warrior. It, it is, but it. I mean, it also isn't really because that was like eight pixels. Um, it's more the. I mean, like. Open. You know, it was more... a hairstyle design contest winner. We have yeah. most of oh. them in the game. I think there are still a couple that are left, but most of them have been added. Yeah. Okay. I remember the Pompadour um, was a hairstyle hairstyle design contest winner. They also showed up other bits of paper with screenshots on. One was a, a, a <laughs> Harambe <laughs> mount. That's um, a gorilla. A gorilla, you, like for for those people that are like ten, Mom. remember that meme. No, um, wait. This is definitely a reference to the warrior from Final Fantasy One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what okay. I'm thinking of because okay. he even has the red in the picture, like the like the warrior. Yeah, they were all warriors of light in one. There were four warriors of light. Mm. It was the mm-hmm. fighter thief, white mage, and blamange. The gorilla seems to. Be, I assume well, the gorilla is a reward that you get with as well. this currency again. Yeah, or maybe it's tied. So. Maybe it's tied to winning the season. I, if that's no the one... mount, then that's a big cop out because we've already got like three gorillas in the game now. Yeah, but they're robots, Mela. Okay. I want I want this gorilla to gently caress me as he flies. I want <laughs> to feel is like a little baby. You won't you won't get the Void Walker. You'll get this. This is what I want you get, Roller. I want to be baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think I like have the... stool toss? No, hope it does. I will be nice, but I don't think so. No, I'm sure. No, I'm sure Koji will make oh. a Harambe reference in. No, the... I swear to God, I come make on, Koji. a Harambe reference in 2019. You I gotta will remember personally. Him, I'm gonna come to your house and strangle you. Mm. Wow, shake you also... furiously like a baby. <laughs> wow. Then they also showed us some new gear. It mm. looks like a like a, it's like the kind of like jumpsuit you'd wear if you were a mechanic. Yeah, yeah I, like a mechanic or like a, a miner or something. It's, I think it's gathering gear, isn't it? I like it. I, I don't I, know I, if it's gathering gear. I suppose it could be both or mm. universe or something. But it's it's cool. It's um, one where you wear the the upper part around your waist. Yeah, and so it's wearing like because it's hot, and sweaty in the manufactory. Yeah. So it seems like a nice thing, like I don't know, put on your machinist or something as a glam. Yeah, That'd be cool. That would be good. In before it's. Tied, it's exclusively tied to DOH and DOL. That would be fun. That'd be infuriating, to be honest. Because 
Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> Gathering Island. Gathering Island. Oh yeah, Diadem. oh, Diadem's turning into Gathering Island. Yeah. Hooray. Not as that name though. No, no, no. They, they will be called Gathering Island. Thank you very much. <laughs> we uh, will send you to Diadem to gather items. There is also uh, they showed a new feature. They had like little market stalls and like a new housing type kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Looks like a little rustic wood thing. I like yes. it. Yeah, um, it, they will. They will be adding features to housing to make it more appealing and easier to use for RP. So we've yeah. seen that you can now eat while you're sitting down. So hopefully you can. So now we'll be able to interact with more things while sitting down. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And then there's the log partition that the is. Log not, partition. It's not a wall. It's not a. It's not a wallpaper. It's one of those fake walls that you can put up around your house. Hmm. Bit annoying though if you got to put up loads of them. Yes. But if you, you want know, them all around the edge of your cool. house. But... Yeah. It's because um, I think it's because of how the modules work for wallpapers, how they always have to have that stuff at the bottom. That's true. Yeah, it is a bit. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and they showed up a new gear, which was a gear design contest winner. It was that sort of. Um, it was the melee des Android DPS something. design contest winner. Yeah, you look like, like Raiden a... from Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah. Or it's cool. Very... Revengeance, mm. I should say. I really like it. As an intro, you know, I think it's really nice. The, I don't love the tank gear. The tank <laughs> one looks tank terrible. Looks like a, a can of beans, but look, look like Robocop. Cool. Yeah, yeah, well, chunky Robocop. I hope it's a PvP. Uh, I PvP hope it's currency PvP, yeah. I feel I like really, that's the place for it. I'd be very disappointed if it's tied to the near raid because I don't think people that's what people want. Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> Imagine if I, they um, got this, though. Imagine if there's when they got this design contest winner and they're like we need to talk to your Kitaro. <laughs> this is just put it in there it's part, it's part <laughs> if this was in the raid it would be an uproar yeah i mean yes, it, it would be it probably looks chunky because it's on a row they showed it off we can't show you oh maybe oh no i was going to show it on my phone but i don't want to pull the kill and do that no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> pull a yoshi p slash the kill okay um, well give me a second hold on let me open up the document on my phone I love yeah. that for the go the go design the gear design contest winners. They've gone and made entire sets based on the winners. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. That's cool. very cool. Because it uh. feels like it's more than just like your work. It feels like you've added like an entire part of the world to the game. Yeah. Do, this, and do people win anything? For yes. these yeah. Designs? In game rewards. Cloud yeah. hair. Or is that? Yeah, the me? cloud hair. Yeah. Or maybe I, I don't know if it was this. It one. might not be the cloud hair, but they went in game. Cloud hair wasn't released until after this one because these design contests were from ages ago. Yes, that's I true. remember seeing this during like Stormblood. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'll be in there eventually. Um, I, 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 yeah. I would like them to start this again because I think they started with tank. I'd love them to start another one this expansion. One yeah. for healers. How about yeah. that? That like doesn't. They've done oh, like that. They've done all of the. They've done every class now, Rollo. Have they? they? Could just I do guess... a pan. Okay. Yeah, design. I guess they, they could just do yeah, just a generic gear design. They could also do disciple of land, disciple of hand if they want to, if they want yeah. to keep going with classes. All right, I'm, pu I'm pulling it up on my phone. I'm going to use try. show it on my tiny little screen. Thank you. I'm scrolling. Okay. Hold it close to the camera, Rollo. All right. Well, kills in here, so I got to. You know, you know, Yoshi P. You know, Yoshi P. Can't see things unless he gets nice and close to the monitor. Yeah, right. and I'm sure he's watching this. Oh God, I got to like. Zoom in on the document to show it. Oh yeah. Oh, you're not even finding the original. Okay, just going no, to zoom into our document. Is... Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is worse than what I expected. Yes, there you go. That's that's the gear. That's the melee one. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's what I've been waiting for. And then let me oh, yeah. open. Up. We've been filling time for this. No, that it keeps is... opening the same one. <laughs> <laughs> open up this one. Stop! It keeps opening up the right. I want to see. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom into the document now. Here you go. There's <laughs> there's the that's the chunky boy. Yeah, ting yeah. Punk. <laughs> just... Okay. Well, I'm sure you appreciated that chat. Uh, <laughs> next. <laughs> Sorry, audio. The new gate. The slice is right. Your uh, Jimbo. <laughs> this looks very busy. This looks it is. Yes. It's essentially you're dodging a bunch of towers similar to Hashmar. It's yeah, Hashmar. Yeah, Hashmar. Yeah, Hashmar. Um, yeah. 
from the first EVE release raid. It goes for mm-hmm. quite long. And also, it if does. you're not a coward like Yoshi P, you can pick up MGP from the ground. Yeah, yeah and that's like a cool way of doing it. 2,000 yeah. bonus MGP for picking them up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can probably... I think if you pick them all up, he'd be looking at a good mm-hmm. 5k extra, maybe? Yeah, it's... More. And um, it seems to reward you... The rewards seem to be based on how long you stay, rather than if you get kicked out early, you yeah. just get nothing. <laughs> Or like it's not nothing anymore. It used to be nothing, but the reward is still yeah. not satisfying. <laughs> and it also has an absolutely the or third phase of any way the wind blows. It has a completely BS bit where it, it looks like it's like that ball and cup game where you put the ball under the cup and then you move the cups and you have to follow the cup with the ball under it. But then it goes mm. too fast that it's actually impossible to know where it is. It's infuriating. <sighs> that was annoying. Um. It looks like you have to compete with other people for the extra MGP, though. Like you have to That's what it looked like. Up. But maybe so. it could be the thing where like, it just appears that... Because Yoshi P was the only one. It could appear... It could stay there for everyone. Yeah. It could mm-hmm. also be collaborative. So if everyone picks up, yeah. everyone gets the extra MGP. That's possible. That'd because be, that's that'd be how too. it works in the, the boss fight. Mm. The Yojimbo boss fight. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it looks good. It looks fairly... Um, not too hard. There were only like three patterns, I think, for the bamboo mm-hmm. um, so once you've figured it out you should be all right there's no Next rng up. involved it's all skill so let's do yes. the beast tribe yeah. pixie piggy with the hat piggy Pigu with the hat and the dumbo ears yes um two um, new pixies and then it just drops us into this playground some, like fairy tale playground weird i don't even know what it is oh oh oh, oh no that's even cool. creepier all yeah, right. that is very well, scary. Um, but <laughs> for audio listeners, the kills camera just turned on. Oh, like, oh my god! <laughs> okay. Uh, um, okay. Yeah. So um, I looks assume he's still like. An oh, are you iron. back, the kill? Oh, hello. No, nope. I'm back. Hello. Oh, he is back. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um. So it looks kind of like. A, Where are you? Like a, an eye. We're in the pixies. We're very close to the end of the live load. <laughs> um, Wait, you're at the pixies. Yeah. 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 What did you? Would you want us to wait? <laughs> no, I wanted you to be further down. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, because um, there's okay, still sorry. a lot left. Okay. I'm oh. sorry. We don't have someone to tell us to hurry up. <laughs> we'll, we'll try and go through this quickly. Yeah. Have you just started on the fairy thing? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're just talking about the weird I mean, playground place. There's not much to say. It seems to be a zone that's exclusive for the Beast Tribe quest, and they seem to imply, I think, that that's going to happen for all of them. Yeah, and mm. there's a lean on wall emote, but it it isn't actually. Very good. You don't actually lean on a wall. It's 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 just you, li- you, you lean backwards. Back. Hopefully there is a wall there, and it doesn't look weird. Yeah. yeah. So you guys um, aim your lean. PVP updates. Um, they're adding in the Narden, the Azim step thing. Mm-hmm. Looks awesome. Um, they're changing how battle high works. Mm-hmm. Um, so it now doesn't have the negative effects really. It just has no. the positive effects, and, and it has you five just build it up. You just build it up, and you as you only lose it if you die, and yeah, but you only half, gauge for it. Yeah, the buff doesn't seem to be as strong as it used to be as well. Yeah, well, it's pretty cool, um, and it looks like a fun game mode. It's like a domination type game mode. That's a good point, Megal. You can now, with the leaning emote, you'll be able to have like two people leaning back to back. Oh, and I'm cheesy. looking at the camera. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, the way. Yeah. Th- the Denshig Nardum works as it's like Seal Rock, except you don't have to interact with the well, the place that you yeah. to claim, seemingly. And once but you've claimed it, it is yours forever, it seems, until it ticks down. Yes. Which yes, is it interesting. Can't be taken They're called so, Uvus. So the, the race is more for the initial run rather than trying to push back later. Yeah. yeah. I, that makes me think that, that there has to be some sort of indicator as to where the upcoming ones are going to happen rather than just like random yeah, it can't just be random because then you, some people would just be naturally out of position hmm. yeah um but it looks really fun i like oh it. they're getting rid of 24 man pvp which makes me sad because it was the best it, form of pvp that was the best one yes yeah. it was quicker, yeah that's the thing that Colin has been talking about for a while now where he says that he always prefers when there's less people in pvp and now they're guaranteeing they're gonna <laughs> have more like i hate it it's I, it just feels like a mob rush for so many people. It does. Maybe you can never really do any focusing or anything. It's I hate the interactor. Yeah. 
Maybe I they agree. want rival wings to be the twenty-four man PvP, and then uh, this will be the seventy-two man PvP. I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. But... PvP will be added in five point one five alongside blue changes, which they didn't That's talk true. about it at all. Yep, no. and, uh, and there's also... a new mount. Four man groups only. You can't go in as an eight man PvP. Of course. Oh, it's not a sphere. It's not an ADS. So it could it's be the ADS this Marlboro. Time. It could be. Oh, it could be the Marlboro. The. Oh, that's disappointing if it is. I don't. We didn't. I didn't put that together during the live letter. Well, I want that, so I'm gonna have to do it then. Yeah, I know. I was. I was hoping that it was just gold source. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Then they showed up uh, new game plus. Um, let's not talk about it too much. It's just new game. No, he demoed it, and it works really well. Yeah. And he get... showed it off for a very long time. Yeah, he started you... actually doing the MSQ for about half an hour. You can yeah. do the diff you can change the difficulty of duties from normal to very easy, which cool. <laughs> Not yeah. more difficult, but very easy. Yes, so that's So you can focus uh, more on the story cool. during a duty and like the flying text that happens that you might have missed beforehand. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of flying text actually though. You, then nice he showed off glamour dresser changes, which is we've already know it's just the uh, class based stuff. But he did show off a new glamour, which is like a a Gucci um, yeah. coat with fur around the hood. It kind of looks like Squall's mm -hmm. jacket, but uh, but like a different color and not closed. Yeah, That's yeah. Yes. And then um, then he I can show it. you a picture of it. Actually, hold on. Oh, no, I'm I'm sure that, I mean, yeah, yeah, get that loading while we talk. True. We didn't spend okay. that much time on it. Yoshi P walked into the the copied factory. He walked up to the first boss and then he left. Yeah, he didn't we even get to see. It. No, he didn't even pull it. Which so, was sad, yeah. but whatever. And then the greatest part of the whole thing, they showed off the epic of Alexander Ultimate, mm -hmm. where you thought it was going to be Alexander Brute Justice and Cruise Chaser, but who pops down first of all? <laughs> Only goddamn Pepsi man. Pepsi yeah. man. So uh, we should have picked this up because things. the arena doesn't look like any of their arenas. Here you That's go. This true. very blurry picture of his Thanks. little tiny lol. Thanks, Rona. You can barely see it. Yes. There thank it you. <laughs> um, and then then they sort of wrapped it up and showed off um some cool new merch that um is definitely for Japan and, and only a question mark for anywhere else in the world. Hey, they at least they said. TBA, TBA. That's they true. could have said nothing. <laughs> yeah, true. And that's the live letter I mean, LV. I mean, so at least you were included. At least <laughs> they mentioned that Europe and North America exist. Yeah. Yeah. That's we might true. be able. I mean, actually, well, importing that merch isn't even that expensive, to be honest. No, it's not. No. It's still Fine. inconvenient, but it's not you that can, bad. Um, you can take the mantle. That's the end of the show. Thank you for watching this episode of Speaker Survival. <laughs> Episode 166. Remember to follow us on Twitter at SpeakersXIV, twitch.tv slash SpeakersFiedlin, youtube.com slash SpeakersXIV. Remember uh, to send us mug mail, SpeakersXIV. We didn't read any mug mail, didn't have time. SpeakersXIV.com slash mug mail. See you in the post show if you're watching live. Bye.